Hey guys, and welcome back to a new Roblox video. Today, I'm going to give your game a nice game intro and a sell menu. Let's get right into this. So first of all, what you'll need is a game logo. I got mine right here. I already created the PNG version of this also. So if you don't know how to do that, you download paint.net, which is going to be in this description. And I'm going to just copy that right there and i'm gonna open up paint.net really quick uh paint okay it will take a second to open but once it does i'm gonna show you how to make it uh so it has no background for your game and then if you want your game icon you can just add a background layer and blur it just like this and it looks amazing so uh i'll come back when Paint.net opens. I'll see you guys there. Oh, it just opened. Never mind. Uh, let me put that. Uh, let's see. Um, there. Okay. Yeah, you guys can see that. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna push this little paste button right here, and you see how the canvas size is much bigger. You want to scale it down to 513 by 513. It's a decent size, and it's also your game image size. And after that, you kind of want to fill in the gaps here. Okay. This is if you wanted your game logo. Now, if you don't want this background and you want it to be transparent for your game, what you want to do is... Um, you want to click this magic wand tool, select the background part, and push delete. And sometimes you gotta do it a bunch of times, depending on, I don't know, it, I, I don't know what it depends on, but basically you want it to be this texture all the way around here. Let me see if I can delete this too. Ah, oh, no, it comes with the whole thing. So... When you have this, you're good, and it is transparent, so you can just click finish there, and then push save as, and save your file. So, now I already got that in my game, and I'm going to show you how to implement that, and have a spinning camera when you join the game. So, just like Dungeon Quest, because it's cool <laughs> and I found out how to replicate it. Um, one second, I'll go right there. Okay, guys, so once you're in your game, you want to get the link I have, well, one of the links, the game intro link that I have in the description of the video. And let me find it really quick. Okay, intro GUI. And there will be a few scripts in here. You want to go into the place that says title. And then, um, I think it's this one, yeah. And then you want to push image here add image, and put your image that you just downloaded. I already have mine there, and I'm going to show you how this looks right after. But there's something else that we have to do in this video too, and that is our cell menu. So for the cell menu, it's a bit more complicated. Uh, what you have to do is get the model. I'm going to make a model out of this. I should probably do that right now. And I'm going to make a model out of all the stuff you need. And I will put it in the description also. But what you want to do is you want to put the blacksmith in the workspace once you get the model. It will probably have all that stuff there. And then you want to put the E in the starter GUI. And the, this is going to basically be the uh, thing that triggers the GUI. And it's kind of nice because there's a GUI where the blacksmith talks to you and then you can push a button to continue. And I'm going to show you how to change that button actually right now. So to change that button, you'll see what I mean in a second. Uh, you want to go to NPC chat inside of the blacksmith. You want to go to, uh, um, is it text label? I think it's somewhere around here. Okay, here we go. So the script is right here. If input dot key code equals equals enum dot key code dot k, so in this case it's k, you can change it to 
anything you want. And um, I don't know what space is in here. Is it just space? Yeah, okay. You can change it to space. You can change it to anything. And um, if you change it to anything else, what you want to do is you want to come to the uh, text label which is right here and you want to change where it says push k to continue to whatever key to continue whatever the correct key is so they are not on an hour uh, they're not on that level for an hour just trying to figure out what key to push smacking their keyboard it helps a lot so after that um i think the e and the blacksmith is all you need for that so let me go in the game right now and show you the finished product you have may uh, you may also have known i got some new guys here i put them all into a uh, big gui in the starter gui called a main ui and this basically keeps my health my money and my xp all together so i know exactly where they are now i'm thinking of putting my player which is right here um the parent equals main ui yeah that looks pretty nice so it can have that whole thing grouped together let me see if there's going to be any scripting errors right here script.parent.important yeah that's not a thing um wait script.parent dot important dot background okay i'll go through this later guys um i'm gonna just put it back because i don't want to mess up anything for this tutorial but i'll do this all later so um i'm gonna test it out now and i hopefully everything works well i know everything works because it's the finished product but you're gonna see when i load into the game my camera is going to be spinning oh also another thing in this tutorial I got a working data store script, finally. I got a working data store. Thank you, Lua Le Learning. I couldn't find a working data store. So, um, here it is, right here. So, uh, no, that's the tool data store. This is the regular data store. Um, it says it's gonna save the stats. I'll put this in the description also. And the damage numbers. And then this is just player removing and player added, all that jazz. So that's it right there. Let me push play finally. And you will see, sorry guys, you will see uh, that it works hopefully. Here we go. We are loading in and next tutorial guys, we are going to be doing armor and armor transferred between the games. So what I learned was that armor, well, not armor, any data store from the main game, which this game is, um, the places in that game share the, sta the same data store. So that makes an easy, uh, you don't even have to do the data transferring scripts between places, but you do with objects that aren't in a data store such as armor but you'll see here there's something wrong with this button right here but you'll see here that when i select that it it will go to my character and it basically my game was loading in i don't know if you guys could see it but it's a nice tween it comes down and there you go it's Kind of like the Dungeon Quest one, but you're going to have your own logo here. It's going to come in with mine and create your own one. Uh, this is my PNG one, and it's really nice. I uh, kind of notice here that <laughs> uh, there's just a big block right here. I, I got to fix this sometime. But right now, this is my logo to my game. I'm going to push this button, and there we go. We spawn right in, which is amazing. Um... If you get some errors, errors in the output, output, do not worry. At le as long as it works, don't worry about it. So keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I actually have admin, so I can do this a lot faster. Um, fly myself. I don't know what caps lock was on, but 
once you have all the stuff set up in the specified locations that I told you, I once you push K here, the menu will come. You're going to select this and you can press sell and it you del it deletes it from here and you get money for it if you are watching my money and you can change the amount of money that basically what you can do is you can say ah, this is actually a thing a thing i can teach you guys right now so once this game quits it's loading sorry guys it's taking a long time to load okay so in here um, there's a for loop going through all the, uh, player's items. So, wait, one second, right in here. Frame local script. Okay, so, it's in the equip, right here. This is the script where the thing changes. Player.leadersets.coins.value plus sell value dot value. Oh, it's actually here. Never mind. So, uh, I thought this was encoded in and I was just putting a value here. But basically, you have to put a cell, a thing called cell value. And and every tool, it's an integer value or a number value called cell value. Spelled out just like it is in the script right here. No space, capital S and capital V. And... It says uh, player dot leader stats dot coins dot value pl uh, plus cell value dot value. So it's basically looping through all the players inventory and the one that's selected, it's going to look for um, the the cell value um, value right over here and whatever this is at 30, 20, whatever it will sell for that value. The great thing about this is you can have multiple tools with different sell value, which is ultimately what you want to accomplish. So the next thing we're going to, uh, going to be going over is armor. So I made a class string value in here because we're going to need to use that for, uh, for next tutorial. Next tutorial is going to be a complex one. I've been researching and I think I finally found something that's going to help us with armor and armor transfer. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to put everything you need in the description, fully done. Just remember to put the cell value inside all your tools for the cell place to work. You can change up the UI all you want. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Um, Yeah, that's it. Stay tuned for next tutorial. Thank you guys for the support. Like and subscribe. Bye.